What's up guys? My name is Carl Golden and excitingly today we're going to be checking out the brand new Two Notes Noise Factory Dyne IRs pack. Included in this pack are seven different cabs giving us a wide range of tones. Okay, so before we go through all seven of the amps, let's talk about my setup that I have here today. So first of all, I have my guitar. From my guitar, I'm going into the Kraken. This is a valve amplifier. Uh, we've got two channels, we've got gain one, gain two by Victory Amps. And then from the output of this, eight ohms, I'm then going into Torpedo Capped X by two notes. Uh, this is where all of my Dyan IRs are stored. So, then from the two notes cap to X, there is two XLR cables, so stereo output going into my audio interface, which is a Focusrite Claret 8 Pre. From there, I'm capturing and recording the sound into my door, which is Logic Pro X. And so I can change all my different cabs and all the settings. There is a micro USB output from uh, my Torpedo Captor X going into my computer. And then I open up the uh, Torpedo remote software, which looks like this, and change through all the different cabs, like this. So I've got all seven lined up and ready to go for you guys. But also there's so many more tonal options with each of your cabs. So if you're not familiar with uh, the Torpedo remote, you can add some EQ, you can uh, do some enhancing, you can add some reverb, which is crazy. So if your amp, my tube amp, the Kraken, doesn't have any reverb, you can add reverb to it. There's a twin tracker. Now let me quickly show you this, because I didn't show you this in my last video I did with two notes. So without the twin tracker, now with it, that sounds massive, right? So it kind of creates um, another guitarist playing. Uh, it's a stereo kind of vibe. So let's say you're recording um, in the studio uh, or at home or wherever you're recording and you want to do one take but get a really fat sound. You just turn this twin tracker on and you're good to go. Uh, we've also got options of a gate. So the gate's off here. You can turn the gate on. And something really cool about the gate here is you can press learn mute your strings and it works out the best settings to have. Absolutely silent, so you don't need to buy a, a noise gate pedal. Okay, also we can mess around with microphones. You can use two lots of microphones, so mic A and mic B. Not only that, you can uh, choose between eight different microphones. Uh, this is set to the back, you can do it front, you put it in the back. You can move it around, you can move the axis, the distance. You can do this with both of the microphones. You can even do it physically like this, move it around. Uh, let's go back to this one. So let's put on something a bit warmer, ribbon microphone maybe. Let's put a dynamic at the back randomly. You can experiment with all these different sounds. So you can change the ribbon microphone. You can add some EQ. You can try getting more body with the enhancer. We've also got the reverb on. We can turn that up quite a bit. Get it really wet. And we can completely turn that off. Uh, put it back on. I quite like having a bit of reverb on. But um, yeah, the options are insane. 
As mentioned in my previous videos with two notes for the Chug Life Dyne IR pack, you can still use this pack if you don't have a valve amp or the two notes hardware. If you've got plugins on your computer, you can download the wall of sound software by two notes and still use these cabs. You can just turn off the cabs section with your favorite plugins and then add these cabs in. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So make sure you stick around. Okay, so let's look at our first cab, which is the Noise Factory Messy Barbara 412 G12M. Uh, this is outfitted with Celestion G12 M20 drivers. So this is for the players seeking that kind of brown tone. Okay, let's get to it and have a listen. I have gain one on my amp. Okay, let's switch to gain two, which gives us a lot more volume. Here we go. <laughs> the tones are pretty awesome. I can imagine that sounding great for lead tones. Okay, so that is our first cab. It's great for those kind of brown tone kind of sounds if you want to get some lead tones and some really crunchy chords. This may be the cab for you. This sounded great on my lead sound for the track. Okay, so let's look at cab number two, which is called Noise Factory Messy Barbara 412 Green. So this is inspired by a four by 12 Mesa Barber cabinet. Uh, same as the previous cab, but this has been fitted with 25 watt Celestion Greenback drivers. So the Greenback is synonymous with mid range attack and a controlled top end, perfect for punchy chords and searing leads without fizz. Okay, so let's get some sounds with this cab. <laughs> So that was on the low gain, let's put it on the high. Okay, so I love both of these cabs. Let me switch between them both. So here's the first, here's the first cab. 
Here's the second cab. Here's the second. And you can hear they both have completely different sounds. It depends on what you're going for. So already with two cabs, we have lots of tonal options. And of course, I've not even changed any of the settings like the EQ or the microphones. You can have some fun with that. Now, let me show you the twin tracker with this second cab. If you're writing some big fat riffs, this is gonna really add something special. Here we go. Cool, let's move on to the next cab. So cab number three. So this is the Noise Factory Messy Barbara 412 Vint. So this is inspired by a four by 12 Mesa Barba cabinet outfitted with Celestium Vintage 30 drives. It's perfect for saturated overtones, boasting a warm round low end. Next up, we've got our fourth cab, which is the Noise Factory Truck Stop 412 Black. This is inspired by a 4x12 diesel cabinet, front loaded with Celestium Vintage 30 drivers. 
So if you're in the market for super tight, hyper-focused tone that's primed for the heavier side of guitar, one brand stands apart, which is of course diesel amplification. So let's get some heavy tones and have some fun. I'm gonna go back to drop D. Okay, so moving on to the fifth cab, which is the Noise Factory Truck Stop 412 Vint. Uh, this is inspired by a modern 4x12 diesel cabinet, front loaded with Celestium Vintage 30 drivers. This is for the players seeking a cabinet that's modern in spirit with lashings of juicy resonance and vintage vibe. Lots to live up to, here we go. Sounds pretty cool. Okay, so moving on to the sixth cab, which is the Noise Factory Messi Barbara 212 G12M. This is inspired by a 2x12 Messi Barber cab outfitted with Celestian G12 M20 drivers. So like with our 4x12 cab, if you want to get that kind of brown tone, this could be the cab for you. So let's test it out. I'm on game two, let's go to game one.
So for our final seventh cab, we have the Noise Factory Messi Barbara 212 Vint. So this is inspired by a 2x12 Messi Barber cab outfitted with Celestian Vintage 30 drivers. So some of my favorite players like Slash, Pete Frampton and Steve Stevens use uh, the Celestian Vintage 30 drivers. So they can't be half bad. Well, okay, so that was all seven cabs from this pack. They all sound absolutely awesome. Uh, if you want to check them out, uh, I put links in description below. Now, of course, Mesa Barber and Diesel are well known for their rock and metal tones, but I wanted to show you how versatile these cabs are by doing a funk fusion rock thing. Check it out. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to show you how you can use your favorite Dyne IRs with your favorite plugins. So you don't need to have a valve amplifier or the two notes hardware. You just download the wall of sound software and you're good to go. So my signal chain is my guitar, which is a Music Man Cutlass going straight into my audio interface, which is a Focusrite Claret 8 Pre. And then I've loaded up uh, my door, which is Logic Pro X. And I've got my input, which is channel eight here. So I've called this channel plugins uh, above here. That was my left and right channels for two notes. But here is my channel here. So I've got my favorite plugin loaded up here, which is uh, Sardano Slow 100 by Neural DSP. And what I've done is with the cabinet, I've turned that off. And underneath, I've opened up the wall of sound software by two notes. So this allows you to load your uh, Dyne IRs into this software. And you can do the EQ, uh, compression, reverb, basically all the stuff you can do with the remote you can do here. Well, most of the things anyway. So here we go. <laughs> 
and if we turn this off, you'll hear just the sound of this is Saldano uh, plug-in. <laughs> Sounds terrible because we need a cab. Here's the cab, and this is a Vint, a uh, Brit Vint C. This is based on a Marshall kind of uh, cab, I believe. <laughs> And you can mess around with obviously the frequencies and things. You can add your different microphones. You can beef it up with two lots of amps. And so on and so forth. So that's basically how you can use the uh, wall of sound to load your Dyn IRs. You can move all your microphones as you would before, front and back and all those options, you can add your reverb and so on. So there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll leave links to all the gear that I've used today in this video in the description below. Make sure you check out all the different packs by Two Notes, and I'll see you again for another video soon. Take care, guys. Oh, I feel it now. Can't make you smile